Hello and welcome back to my channel. Let's go, let's read what's happening. So, I've been traveling and I thought I would share with you some things that I discovered whilst I was traveling. My traveling seems to be changing every single time. Every single time I travel, it's not the same. First of all, you have to actually plan not from the time your flight is leaving, but from the time the gate is closing and then give yourself a bit of leeway time. So, let's say your gate is closing at six o'clock uh, in the evening and you have to be there. They usually say it's safe to be there two hours beforehand, to be at the airport two hours beforehand. But we already know that if it's really busy, you know, checking in your bag and that and going through security can take a while. If you want to walk around duty free and stuff, that's going to take a while. So, you may be better off being there three hours beforehand just to be on the safe side now if you know that your place is about 30 minutes away you don't know maybe on the bus or any other type of public transport even if you're getting dropped by off by somebody with the car and um, you don't know what's gonna happen on the way could be anything so if it's 30 minutes you just say it's an hour so now we want to be there three hours before the gate closes and we also want to be there an hour before uh, we also want to leave ourselves a little bit of leeway in terms of leaving the house so we'll say if it takes 30 minutes to get there we'll leave an hour beforehand so that means four hours before the gate closes that is when it's best to leave your house so that you have a lot of time now when it comes to your you're finally there you've checked in your your you know your your suitcase is gone and everything and now you're going through security you know how they have those plastic bags now People always now seem to fiddle about. They're now removing things from their their bags and like having to figure out what's liquid. And I suggest you get something like this, and you can get this anywhere. Um, I have some stuff in there that's not really liquid, but it doesn't actually matter. Most of my liquids are in here, so I've got all kinds of things in there. And yeah, let me know if you want a video on how I pack my stuff. But yeah, there's lipsticks, there's wet wipes, there's toothpaste. There's antibacterial gel and a bunch of other stuff. And I just put this on the tray and that's enough. Before I get to security as well, I have a plastic bag and that's where I'll put like my laptop or uh, all the electronics that they want you to put out. It's not like chargers or anything. So it's not even like the big chunky laptop chargers. It's real electronics, you know, things that pop on. This would also be in my plastic bag. So that when I reach security, when I reach the tray and they're like, yes, go to spot number three and I'm there and the trays are just coming on this conveyor belt type situation I immediately know what to do I take my plastic bag and just pour everything out there and then my carrier bag is that what that thing is called the hold on bag the one that goes inside you know with you on the plane anyway that one I have that one in a separate tray and then my jacket obviously make sure I make sure I don't travel with any belts usually also not even with boots because I don't like the hassle of removing all these things but yeah that's that then you get through to all that <laughs> and then there's the duty free now. That's a whole different story altogether. I went and got me some water From one place. It was 160 or something like that Only to go somewhere else and find that water was way cheaper for the same amount or even more So basically if you're trying to save a little bit of point Go around a little bit. Don't just go to the first place That's why you need to make sure you have enough time so that you can you know kind of shop around look around a lot of things are discounted and guess what when it came to things like makeup <clears throat> they had certain pri prices in the store I, I proper peeped those things I, I was proper looking out for stuff so i saw these things when we got into the plane at some point at the end they said oh uh, by the way in our beauty catalog you can find all these beauty things and all the gadgets and because you know you can get your Christmas shopping in whilst you're on the plane everybody gets a 20% discount on top of the already discounted prices now whether that's true or not I don't know but when I looked through the, the brochure or the, the magazine the beauty magazine thing I did see that the prices were significantly lower than what they were even in the duty-free and nobody tells you none of this so yeah watch out for that as well at some point there is nowhere to sit you're better off coming so early because at some point I had to sit on the floor and there were, it was a whole group, a whole line of us just sitting beside, you know, in front of a wall on the floor because there was literally nowhere to sit. Oh, here's another thing. You know, with this traveling, they could always, you know, delay your flight. So even if you've eaten a lot from home or wherever you're staying, make sure you bring snacks. But you can't bring liquid on with you. 
uh, into the plane from your home unless you bought it you know after security and everything but what you can't do is bring food so yeah always bring a little something even if it's an apple even if it's a bag of crisps and that because you know it's it's sometimes it's really quite overwhelming and you don't really yeah you can you can even get lightheaded because where i was it was so hot everybody was removing their jackets throwing it on their shoulder throwing it on their suitcase it was just ridiculously hot try and get your water before you go on the flight because you're definitely going to get it cheaper at your duty freeze than on the plane unless obviously you're going for a longer flight and they just offer you all these things which is amazing mm, then what else if you're traveling and you have the option of using id or passport please just go for passport because you can go every every airport these days kind of has that thing where you, you put your passport there and then you, you look at the thing and it looks at your face you have to remove like any hats or whatever there was a sign saying id holders go with this escalator I'm not just talking about this queue, no. They were completely separated from the passport holders. They had to go to a different escalator altogether that was at the other side of the, of the place. So I go into one lane, come downstairs, meet the other people that had gone down the other escalator and realize that we kind of, we were, we were cross, you know, we, we had to cross paths down there because it, it wasn't correct still. It made no sense. And also it never said ID anywhere. It only said for passport holders and then it said for all passport holders it was something like that and all passport holders was the one that was manned by people that would come in you know that would look at you know your your document and let you go through or whatever but then that was the all passports place and then the other one that just said passports was the one with the machine it was crazy for the people that had ID my goodness it was not moving because obviously it's, it's manned by humans and sometimes there's not enough staff on and so it can take a while to get through so that's also annoying also when you get to the airport make sure you, you know usually have like a two hour free wi-fi thing going on make sure you plan properly know when to switch that on because after the two hours elapse you now have to start paying for this stuff but uh yeah just make sure you know you tell your friends family i'm here i'm boarding i'm fine or I've landed or whatever but yeah make sure you choose your two hour slot wisely because but actually I don't know if you can turn it off and then come back on and it and it just depends on how much you use and it has to amount to the two hours or is a full set two hour slot I don't actually know um, but then the Wi-Fi did cut off here and there so I don't know if that counts maybe it's like just the amount that you use and they kind of count it up and if it's up to two hours then that's you done but yeah just just make sure you know about that and make sure you you know whether you can use your data from your home country in the country that you're visiting yeah just keep these things in mind when you're traveling and make sure to make time fly it's time to start living it right god bless see you in the next one bye mm -hmm.